Um, Rubric would be good at that. Let's do that. And Meredith just died. That was not the other clan leader. Th oh, this guy is now loyal. So the guy who took over from him also died. Gothia has cancelled their access, that's fine. Okay, so this army is just infantry, sorry, uh, just archers and cavalry. So I think... That cavalry is going to go to here. All of those archers are going to go here. So this is going to be a very unbalanced army. This one's rather better. I wonder how Suebia managed to keep themselves together in the multiplayer. I don't know. I kept on asking that and he was always very coy. Is that light infantry still loyal? It is. It's down to just 37%. I think if 33% of the army is commanded by disloyal generals, then the civil war is over. That might be how he did it, actually. He must have had a big enough army where his army was always bigger than the disloyal ones. Then the retinues, but that was that's difficult to do when you're a migratory tribe. Simply because the retinues of your opponents is that much bigger. I mean, my centralization is improving, but he must have been rather more aggressive about getting rid of that centralization than I have been. At least that's what I would assume. Right, I'm going to say that we've probably got enough to expand to another province. An Arta sounds good. move one person next door to Felicia and then Felicia can either get that one that one that one well definitely this one this is whoops never mind Felicia can only in fact go this way and now Felicia is done Slightly regretting the fact that I moved to person here now. Alright, see how bad this is. 19,000 man army up there now. That's getting a little scary. How much money do you have? Far too much. Let's kill his reputation. Hopefully that means that he uh, inherits less or he, get, he gets less stuff in the Civil War. And Okroma, I'm kind of counting on you not to fall against us. Malabad Dagarishius is gone. It's just him. Oh, wow. You didn't go. I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> and that's actually really good, because it means I can use your troops in this fight. Oh, GG. <laughs> and now everyone's super... Uh, Reliable. And there we go, problem solved. Although... Whose army are you? Segramundi. We have the Eidkids and the Geraldises. That's it. Hmm. 
lost our wise man. Wise one. What's that? That's omen power. I really do wish I told you exactly what this did, even at level zero. It's got to be hilled gun, really. Oh, citizen happiness. See, that's quite useful. Might have switched those two around otherwise. And then the researcher. Which I think you would be pretty good at. It's Agrimundus, my own clan. Ah, that's what it is. I'm so used to being Garolda still. Yes, it is. Uh, right, so I am still losing money. Roidiger's giving me money, that's very good of you. Just noticed that my one random light infantryman is now no, no, no longer loyal. So get rid of that. Um... You are now a 22 stack. Minimum. So let's split you in half. Half of you goes that way. The other half is going to be called... This is one of the few things I've seen that you can actually name in this game. I'm going to try and do it where I can. It was actually a name that I'm looking for. There it is. I mean, it's... It's obvious, really. Akon Longbeard. Seeing as these are the Langobards. Hey, Jackson. Huzzah! Redneck C, thank you very much for the follow, uh, subscription even. Thank you for the resubscription. Two months now, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, you're going to be charging me here. Um, I'm going to let you march down to me. And, whoa, okay. Hogram is a really good general. Let's leave you in charge. Gonna wait until they're locked in, then we're gonna march everyone here. This was a mistake for them. They've lost loads of troops on the way here. Oh, you know what I haven't done? Change my uh, attitude. Bottleneck. Heavy infantry, archers, cavalry. Perfect. Click on this battle. Uh, so they beat my strategy, though they're not very good at it, so they are skirmishing, which means both sides are going to be losing less troops. Their archers are currently fighting my archers and my uh, heavy infantry. But all of my reinforcements are arriving now, so we're massively surrounding them. And there it is. We both lost 5,000 men. Trooper is going to stay here. Hakon's going to stay here. You lot are going to chase him to fill in. And then Hakon's going to chase. Trooper is going to stay one province behind. Chuska. 
Let's begin moving. Have I worked out the formations? It's basically just where they appear in the battle. I don't know why archers tended to be in the center. I'd much rather have my heavy infantry there because they tend to count. Actually, who counts as archers well? Heavy infantry doesn't. Archers don't. Uh, light cavalry does. Maybe I should have my light cavalry in the center if the AI is always going to be putting their archers in the center. Arsenis. Lack of governor. Right, this was one of the traitor governors. Uh, Eid Haruk would reduce population growth, which sounds awful. This would increase local fort defense. Also reduces his popularity, which actually makes him a bit less dangerous. But yeah, we'll have you. The AI is definitely changing the policies there themselves. From one clan to another, one of our clone chiefs, Okrama Geraldus, has suggested moving some of the people in the clan of the Lycobolard Eidgid to his own rule instead. Not only would they be under a new ruler, but they'd be more loyal to us. We gain centralization, we pay some money, we lose some central power. Both uh, Lycobold, who is not a clan leader, loses loyalty, and our clan leader gains loyalty. Or vice versa. Nope, we're going to start moving them. Oh, they conquered this stuff too. Right, that was the province which rebelled. Um, okay. In that case, you are going to come and reconquer that. Numidian power of Massalian. Revolt folded. Where are they going? Oranisha. I'm now 7,000 manpower short. Alright, so we retook that. I didn't realise they had more land down here. Otherwise, I would not have sent everyone. Pretty sure I know where they're moving to, though. All right, if they're skirmish, what counts as skirmish? Skirmish is the hyena. So deception does. So I'm going to switch both of my armies to deception right now. We are pretty good at deception, thanks to our light cavalry use. We have double their morale. Are you seriously saying that I'm not going to catch them? You are seriously saying I'm not going to catch them? No, we did catch them. And I'm force marching in so that our reinforcements will arrive sooner. So we outnumber them two to one. Same discipline. My thousand cavalry versus their three. My thousand heavy infantry versus their zero. Their zero. 700 chariots against my zero, and then I outnumber their archers. Plus we have a level 9 general versus their level 5, so we're getting a bonus of 2. We're smashing them. Not a stack wipe though. Disappointingly. Don't have Gorion. I 
because I still don't have Gordeva either. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. They need one more population. Eleven thousand men down. Ugh. Well, I think what I'm going to try and do is leave my own troops as far out of this as possible. So I don't need to pay for their replenishment. And then use the retinues where possible. Too bad I don't get free fortresses from the uh, provinces we're taking here. That would be nice. That would be very nice. Fort fell. They did not get a free fort. Well, good. Yes, they did. There really is no point taking this province. Until all the other ones have fallen, otherwise that fort will keep on pinging around and then have to siege down a fort in every single province. Alright. Come on, reinforcements. Let's go. Go. 10,000 against 14,000. Zero, zero. They do outnumber us. guess you'd go here. Thankfully I do catch them before they leave. Twelve thousand against thirteen. Actually, you can come back in now. What's this? Leather. Yes, I can accept the export of leather. This time it's rabbit versus bottleneck. This time we are winning. We're definitely taking a lot of casualties here. We're up to 16, 17,000. We might actually run out of morale before they do. Seeing as I have two unit, one unit left. So this is going to be 6,000 almost full morale versus my 4,500. Because everyone else is running away. This is in the hills. Alright, so they're using deception. What beats... Dis no, they're using bottleneck. What beats bottleneck? Skirmishing does. So we are going to skirmish and see if they stay with bottleneck or not. They did. 
So they get a minus 10, I get a plus 6. I am outnumbered. 4,000. Because they apparently are still getting uh, manpower. Oh, and we have the uh, terrain advantage, and we have the commander advantage. This is as good as it's going to get for us. They outnumber us by 5,000. Well, they're going to have an opportunity to steal a bunch of land back again. Can I see how much manpower? They have 15,000 manpower still. And I have zero. Which means they can get back up to their full strength of 25,000. There's no way I can match that. In the midst of a fallow season, yada yada yada. Um, oh, and we gain a granary. Yes. Build me a free granary, please. Speaking of which, we have no governor down here. Just what I needed, barbarians. Fantastic. Sending me some free money, that's very good. There's really not a lot I can do here though, because we're only going to be able to raise 21, 22,000 maybe. Their fort moved from Marika to here. Because it's retaking these... Oh, no, it didn't move. Never mind. No, it didn't. It's just retaking a bunch of those territories. Hopefully that wasn't one of my armies that just died there. Because someone's dead. Yep, I think that was one of mine. Got there before anyone else and dead. Thankfully I chose the right way, going with the uh, skirmish.
Yep. My monthly income's just gone through the roof again. Please tell me, yes, this is where they're stopping. This should be a stack wipe. Because they can't get their manpower back. Oh, sorry, their uh, morale back this time. Did another small stack just die again? Oh, they got away. Bollocks. And... No, that's them. I don't like how they keep getting free forts. I really don't like that. I get it's just this behaviour because... Uh, the actual territory shifts ownership. It doesn't just get uh, occupied, it's, it's an actual shift. So I get why it happens, I just don't like that it does. Because it does stuff like this, where it completely blocks access over there because of the way zone of control works. Uh, let's move you back. So you're not suffering unnecessary casualties. Seeing I've already lost a big chunk of my army here. And they're just going to sit there continually continuing to replenish and they can just auto secure those territories So I'm going to start building a fortress in Tantonum, because it controls this pass. And I think I'm probably going to put one in Orinia. We're just going to control all of the passes. Unfortunately, you're probably just going to walk straight through and attack me in the north, but what can you do? Actually, what you can do is chase after them. Omen. Um, this omen is going to be... Pop growth. Or manpower growth. Manpower growth. 